three, two, one, go. Welcome to Grounds After Rounds. Who are you? Hello? I wonder how that'll sound. Probably annoying. Probably like- Welcome, <laughs> folks. We're back. We took a couple weeks. A uh, week. Not a couple yeah. weeks. Week, but uh, it's been two weeks. It's been two weeks since we've seen you. I bet you guys missed you. us so much. I had people just yelling in my ear, where's the podcast? You? No? <coughs> no. no. Excuse me. me but I will say this. I look at our uh, views or whatever, and we get like... 70 to 80 downloads on the podcast and we get like 30 to 40 views yeah. on the youtube video so how many of them are you 17 so thank you Thanks. first and foremost you are interested and um and yeah it's uh it's worth continuing on so all right we are cool. entering into a little bit of a, a weird not liminal but uh, liminal meaning uh, the space between the, the real world between. and sort of a, um, you know, the, the after world liminal is a term in the literary um, uh, Space. lexicon. Yeah. It's a, it's the in between areas. And so we're kind of in an in between area <laughs> of uh, you do, but it's okay. <laughs> I have a, not at all. Cause there's a line between the microphone and me, Okay, but I'm not any better. Right. I got to go like Jim and Dwight where he starts like, just on my side. <laughs> um, You've got a new schedule that'll be starting in September. Mm-hmm. We are putting into place some things in the gym with, uh, you know, virtual and in person. And uh, and so this month was kind of our transition, or yeah. as I would say, liminal. And so right now, with the start of the mm-hmm. five, six, and seven a.m. classes, we usually record on Tuesday mornings. We would start about seven thirty, but now we're not starting until about eight thirty. But you still have to go, and so blah 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 blah. Long story short, welcome to a new special series on Grounds After Rounds called Espresso Shots. Oh yeah. So- We didn't even practice that. (laughs) We don't have to, we don't have to practice, we're that good. Wild Stallion. Right? I think it must, yeah, we have to call out your shirt. Absolutely awesome. When does that movie come out? So it's coming out August 28th. Cool. Down, but you're gonna be able to download it on demand. So obviously, because oh, okay. theaters are still closed. Mm-hmm. Um, so Steve and I were gonna get together and watch it. That's and he fun. bought me this shirt oh, so we could watch it together. You got a good roommate there. Um, but it's also the same night as our fantasy football draft. Okay. And so we're actually gonna push back actually watching it. So we're gonna try to avoid all spoilers as possible. Okay. okay. But uh, so we're gonna watch it a couple weeks later um, around our birthday. So we're gonna have a, we're basically gonna have a Bill and Ted birthday party for us <laughs> for ourselves. <laughs> That's a legit birthday yeah. party, man. Yeah. So That's pretty uh, cool. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah. Anyway, um, espresso shots. Espresso shots. So the idea here: quick topics, five minutes, six minutes at most. Quick fire rounds. Do a couple each week. 15, 20 minutes. Bing, bang, boom. In and out. Gratitudes. Adios. Eric makes it home and. Uh, doesn't, Everyone's happy. Doesn't, <laughs> I like that. I was gonna say, doesn't make the boss mad, but you're everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. They get to see, they get to see you. And they get to see how me. How does that not make people happy? That's what I'm still trying exactly. to figure out. Seriously. So anyway. So first. Um, so I guess that was our first part of our espresso shot. Is yes. hey, things are this changing. This is what this is what we got going on for the next uh, couple weeks. These couple are espresso shots. If you feel good about it, let us know in the uh, ratings or the comments. Leave a review. Like, comment, subscribe. That's all I got. There you go. Right. You threw that in. So what's uh, first topic? Five minutes. Right, Three, first. two, one, go. CrossFit Games. What? That makes what? What? Huh? The what? CrossFit Games. So so much has been left up in the air. Is it going to happen? Castro says it's going to happen. It's going to happen on this date. It keeps getting pushed back. A bunch of athletes are like, well, how's that going to work? Because are you really crowning the fittest in the, on earth if not everyone can make it? Plus. Are you really abiding by like social distancing standards? Are we running the safest competition possible? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my arms are really long. We're still six feet apart. Sure, we're still six feet. <laughs> I'll just have to give you an air attack. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, brief. Eric Rosa is officially one hundred percent owner of CrossFit now. Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know why I'm pumping my fist. I've never met him. Again, I have absolutely no idea if that's going to be a good thing or a bad. And again, thing. we don't know much more on this I'm just easily, topic. I'm easily excitable. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, and we don't know much more on the top. We were talking about sport. Do we talk about this? Uh, some other things have been put in place. It's CrossFit has become a more legitimized business um, over the last like week um, than it ever has been before. So we don't know what that means other than yay. So Eric Rosa and Mr. Dave Castro got together and Jack, will you explain to them what the CrossFit games are going to look like for the year of our Lord 2020? So it looks like I'm starting our stopwatch, even though I didn't start it before. So we have, we're we have like a, we four have, minutes in. No, we're like two, we're like two, <laughs> two. We'll say one minute. So we're going to the, we'll say we'll go to the four minutes. Try not to, we try not to talk faster just because we have less time. That's right. We don't want to talk too fast because we just want to try. Understand what saying. <laughs> have a now, now, have a now, now. So I will tell you in watching those um, redacted, CrossFit Games redacted, the little like yeah, yeah. teasers, I noticed an interesting, uh, thing that Katie Henniger, the co-owner of Rogue Fitness, was sitting at the table for all the planning sessions of the games out at the ranch. And I'm like, that's weird. I mean, granted, yeah, Rogue's always like very intimate in the planning process because they got to think about the equipment. But Katie Henniger recently had talked about how she was really involved in working with the tech team to make the Rogue Invitational fully online. And if you have not watched that... I highly recommend it. Holy crap, was that well done. Like, like revolutionary in the sense of what other sports could do. Yeah. Where with a one or two team, and then there was a couple podcasts where they had, I think it was either on an open gym or on another podcast. Yeah. They had a, one of the judges who was involved, and she, he was Holta or some one of the athletes. He talked about how it worked, that you got sent with the equipment, uh, to one tech guy, and then, and that was it. And oh, so like Rogue hooked them up with everything. Rogue they were basically need put for them it. on a plane, sent them there with the tech guy, the judge, and the equipment, showed up at the athlete's gym, laid it all out, and they spent like two days with this athlete yeah. going through it. And it was from the end user watching it standpoint, was phenomenally just seamless yeah. and fun and really well done. And then the broadcast team are also separate. So yeah. Uh, Mike Bergner's in his house, Sean Woodland's in his house, right. Tommy Marquez or whoever the other one, I forget who, but they were in, like, they were all in their own locations and it looked like it was a seamless integrated it thing. It was really cool. So there's Katie Henniger sitting at the desk or sitting at the table in this planning. And I'm like, I bet you the games have a, a contingency plan to go virtual. Yeah. Bop, bop, bop. First phase of the games will be the 30 men, 30 women, 20 men, 20 men, 20 men, 20 women. I can't remember. I think it's 20 or 30 who were going to be invited to uh, Aromas will do the first phase of the games online at their locations, their personal locations. And I bet you it is on the backs of Rogue's infrastructure that they used for the Rogue Invitational phenomenal phenomenal idea because then what they're going to do is they'll take the top five from that first phase uh portion those five will then be brought to california probably to the ranch it just said northern california so who knows yeah. what that looks like but now you've basically just reduced the logistics headache hurdle obstacles that no matter where they're coming from maybe you could bring them in from around the world whatever you have like options of maybe you can only bring three maybe you can bring all five maybe you can bring like if one can't make it you bump one up who you know was seventh or sixth or seventh or something right. genius absolutely genius they'll have a two-day or three-day um event competition at the ranch or wherever it is in northern california and they crown their fittest in the world yeah it's uh it was really just a, a very cool uh um, specifying i just think it's a really cool yeah. this is the world we're in let's use the the assets and technology and the skill sets and the talent of all of these people and let's make this thing still find the fittest man and woman in the world and probably be a better viewing experience for us because really it's all about us really us like as the us as the the fans yeah holy crap pretty damn cool man viewing party heck yeah oh is that can, so right now it's gonna be the 20th of what september september isn't that what they were saying uh, is it well that's the, what it was bumped to originally yeah why is that a problem but, do we have something well, going on well i might be gone well where would you no yeah i'll be gone where are you going i'm going to the beach that weekend oh yeah okay. my birthday is the 21st Oh, I didn't know. Thanks. Thanks for remembering. Is that another one of those silly social constructs that are 
that we've what, been birthdays yes <laughs> whatever jack <laughs> hey man I, I, that's a nicole's been working on that one for about 18 years 19 years and uh she gets it i, I move a little bit closer to actually like caring about birthdays yeah. but then i fall off again apparently it was it was steph haynes's birthday today i think yeah. yeah yeah i have a cameo ready to go by the yeah. way totally blew that one i'm like oh you guys got champagne that's cool what's going on or rosé or whatever after the one Steph's birthday. Of course it is. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. So just FYI, there's like 19 birthdays this month. Yeah. So, so uh, keep up. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Done. That's the game. Boom. So, number two. Speaking of birthdays. We were birthed <laughs> as a gym on August 20th. We became, we officially became an affiliate. Fairwinds CrossFit, the affiliate as you know it today, on August 23rd, 2017. So, three-year birthday, three year a couple birthday. weeks. What, uh, what are we doing, Eric? Well, we normally have a nice little gathering, shindig, soiree. soiree. I was going to go soiree, oh. too. Nice. Um, throwdown. Yeah, it's not been much of a throwdown. Parte. Yeah. It's more, like a, it's more like a let... No, it's not a letdown, because that's just... That is, so, we usually have a party. Things are crazy. Again, this is the world that we live in now, and we're making best, we're making do with what we got. So um, we will not be having a party like we normally have. It just, uh, I think with, we kind of discussed it, there would potentially have to be like limiting the number of people yeah. that can show up and all this. And well, you can come, but try not to bring your kids because really it's for the gym. We're just not gonna do that. It's getting, it's getting iffy. We're going to be around for a while. This won't be uh, the last party we have, I hope. And um, <laughs> and uh, so we are going to take the week of August 24th. August 24th. So Sunday, well, and you could say it's the week of the 23rd if your week starts on Sunday. If your week starts on Sunday, August 23rd, 24th. Um, so we're going to use that week to celebrate the three-year anniversary of Fairwinds CrossFit. And it's going to start, the first thing you're going to see to help get be part of the party or get engaged is a really sweet looking t-shirt t-shirt yeah, yeah t-shirt they're coming they're coming i yeah. meant to i meant to, no, they're okay. designed they're ready to go yeah this I is we're building that we're building the suspense right oh now. it will be yeah. it'll already be out when you get when you oh. listen to this it'll already, and see this you you've seen the t-shirt the sale is open the store is open yes and they are on sale until Saturday at midnight, Saturday Sunday midnight. at midnight. Yeah. Sometime on midnight. Someday when we decide. And then when like six of you, I forgot to order. I need to order. Of course, we'll let you probably order one. Being generous, only six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, like, I mean, I didn't register for uh, the out athletics event until the night before. Like, I was just as bad as everybody else. I didn't either. So you never registered, did you? No, I never registered. Yeah, well, I, you were running it. Yeah, I <laughs> so. donated. Uh, I never actually registered. But yeah, so anyway, we make yeah. we make fun because we are of you, and uh, we have all the same tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> we say this because we know, because we do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what happens. Uh, so, but yeah, for those so of you that for those of you that always order early or get stuff done on time, thank you so much. You're awesome. Uh, for the rest of us, yeah, just do better. Just try to do better. <laughs> and he literally means us, yeah. like the rest of us. <laughs> So yeah, t-shirts, uh, such yeah. a cool design. Rock Alley, and roll theme. Which I think like, I was, I think I talked about like, in a row. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I just feel like band t-shirt is the way we're going to go. With yes. Birth, with, I love it. With birthdays, yeah. so. so who is the, uh, what's the motivation this year? What did we, we left, we left GNR in the rearview mirror, right? It, it's, it, I like back burner. It'll still be there. Okay. Yeah. It was like pretty that. sweet. Anyway, put It'll it, be put there. it back, put it back in the hopper. It needed to, it's totally, yeah. needed to germinate a Nothing's little Nothing's gone forever. Okay. Cool. Marinate a little bit. Marinade. Yeah. Um, so we went full on Metallica. Metallica. It's so cool. Like Justice Allie's, for all. Yes. Fitness for all. Anyway, so cool. That's right. Fitness um, for so all. that'll be, yeah, t shirt design. Uh, so t shirt, order yours, get it. T shirts, the party. tank tops, hats. So with the t shirts, we're going to try something a little bit different. You've got multiple color schemes, multiple styles. So two different colors of t-shirt, same color emblem, and there's a men's and a women's style t-shirt. Mm. And then for the tank, it's uh, a racer back racer. tank. Racer. <laughs> one color, one design, that's it. And then the hat, one color, one design. 
So if you're gonna wear a razor back, you need to shave your back with a razor. Well, I anyway. still think, right? Because it could be it's it's a razor because it's cutting through the shoulder blades, right? That razor makes sense. Back. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And it makes like a it makes like a like the dog a razorback dog or a razorback. Isn't it? You're thinking a, ridgeback. Ridgeback. Yeah. Now you just added a third one. Now I'm even gonna be I'm gonna be even more ridgeback. confused. Now. Ridgeback tea. Ridgeback tank. A ridgeback tank. Razorback. So, yeah. Razorback so, tank. Cool. So we spent five minutes on t-shirts. Perfect. Done. Um, but yeah, the week itself though, Jack has already programmed out an awesome week. And uh, just Actually, like the work. Have I gotten there yet? I haven't gotten that you? far yet. He's, we already have an working idea. On of what it. it's working on it. Working on it. Hey, it's going to be an awesome week. Aren't they all awesome, oh, awesome. guys? Come on. Dude. Yeah. Don't be silly. Um, yeah. So we're that'll be the week to celebrate. So get your t-shirts, make sure you are showing them off in the gym, posting all lives and social media, throw a little, throw a little party for yourselves during the workouts. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun week. So three years on the creek. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. Quick three years. I feel like just yesterday this thing popped out of the womb of our minds. Gym of our garage. Our womb. Our My garage. Your garage was that nice, warm, yeah. moist womb. Okay, we're going too far. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta okay. use the M word. <laughs> All right, man. What's your gratitude? Awesome. Um. Oh man. Been thinking about, I was thinking about it all day yesterday. Yeah, 60 seconds. 60 seconds. My gratitude this week is uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the weightlifting class, Summer Swaltus. We just finished session two, and I thought about it. Uh, some of these people have been doing this for 10 weeks, and they have not been allowed to put a single plate, even a little two and a half pound plate, on <laughs> anything. Yeah. Um, they stuck through it, and so that's gonna pay off coming in session three oh, starting yeah. Sunday. So. It's um, they've loads been, up. yeah, they've been so much fun, and um, and it's been fun just kind of watching every, the the process that everyone has taken to get to where they are now. It's been a long, hard, sweaty road, um, and we're still That's really so cool. cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Nice, forty-five seconds. Impressive. Could have done it twice. Wait, wait, and mine is uh, Carly and CA. So yes. uh, Carly joined us, rejoined the the creek fest with yeah. the being an off the creek virtual member um carrie ann took her on from california they're you know working together figuring this thing out so you've got you've got carly down in chickateague island yeah and you've got ca out on the coast of california so we've got the east and west coast covered at the beach and it's awesome to watch so carly's carly's modification scales from last so from good. yesterday's <laughs> or monday's workout was a two handles of vodka and paddle boarding. So instead of running, she yeah. paddle boarded in and out of distance and then carried two handles of vodka. <laughs> yeah, so full. good. That was her, her farmer carries yeah. and then figured out the rest. And so just the sheer fun of making it work and figuring it out. It's right there. Yeah. Um, I just love it. And so it really made me happy. And I'm glad that we can, we can continue to figure out a way to make it work for folks. Yeah. Uh, no matter where they are. So yeah, yeah. thanks Carly. Thanks Sia. You guys are you guys are phenomenal. Super fun, and uh, I love seeing those posts on yeah. Sugar Watch. I piggyback Amy, Amy, Brian's Caroline. Caroline Brian's pictures are they send me a picture like every day, and it's just <laughs> literally it's usually like Caroline smiling and Brian like in the fetal position. Yeah. That's usually what they are. So. And I say and I I don't yeah. say that to alienate the rest of the off the creek folks. Right, they're yeah. all awesome. Like it's yeah. been awesome. It's been fun to work through each individual yeah. situations needs and wants and, and kind of work it yeah. while also trying to make it so that like this is how we have to offer it because yeah. otherwise yeah, yeah. like things will fall apart quickly mm -hmm. and so it's sort of like figuring out how to fit a thousand different shaped pegs into kind of one hole and it's it's working yeah. and so it's been one week right so we're still figuring out but it's so but hard I'm, I'm very grateful yeah. for everybody's patience um, yes. everybody's willingness and i like seeing how the virtual folks are still posting on sugar yeah. and how they are still getting interaction from the folks yeah. and it's cool to see like whoa that's awesome but yeah. it's not like bull it's not like bs like you know platitudes mm -hmm. people are legitimately excited to see how other people are making it work and i'm excited to see that it was just just car like when I Carly's read Carly's, so I was funny. like, yeah. "Oh God, that's hilarious!" Like so that good. is that is so beachy, but at the same token, like probably was really hard. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. 
Yeah. Oh, paddling in handles of vodka. That's how you get this done. Right. Off the creek. All right. Cool. Yours was way longer than mine. Well, that's because you interrupted and you stole my, you stole, you piggybacked. I, did, I piggybacked. I did piggyback. I was done. I was done at one minute. All right. Let's see it. I'm going to go back and time it. Go to the video for review. I was cool. finished. I was finished at one minute. Yeah, whatever. Hey. It's about 45 seconds longer than usual. <laughs> this is going to be bad. <laughs> hey. Hey. What is a good story to tell a runaway horse? What? A tale of woe. <laughs> That's good. I knew you like that it. one. Literary. I like that. Literature. Literature. What was the one I heard about an avocado? It was an avocado. Some like a. Um... Not a jalapeno. No, it's something with an avocado, but I can't remember. So, doesn't matter. Cool. Yeah. Hey. See you next week for some espresso shots. That's right. We'll see you Cheers. on and off the creek. In your face. I don't like that any. Let's do it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see you signing off. Off the creek and on the creek. Well, it, and on your, <laughs> here. All right. Out. We'll see you later. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah.